And welcome, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Bant Wishes in Best of One. This was a user-submitted deck to try out here on Best of One Day Monday, and it looks really powerful. Like, this looks just kind of like the normal Bant shell. Um, you know, Goose, Oko, Krasis, Nissa. you know, just the really good Bant cards that we have here in Standard. A um, couple mass manipulations for the top end to go with a couple Agent and Treacheries also. Both of these cards are great in Oko Mirrors. Um, but then also we, we got banned, so we were playing four Teferis, which Teferi can can do quite a lot for our deck. It can uh, you know bounce our Hydroid Krasis, bounce our own Agent of Treachery, or bounce our own Fae of Wishes, because of course we are a Fae of Wishes deck with this being best of one. I guess I didn't really say that before, but yeah, it's best of one day Monday. We're finishing um, up with the one deck that's really uh, specifically for best of one, because our sideboard um, is a, a Fae of Wishes sideboard um, that, uh, you know, you wouldn't really want to have this kind of sideboard in best of three. Um, let's go and just click on over here so you can kind of see the sideboard, because it's just all one ofs, you know, like whatever we need to wish for uh, at that time, we can go grab with um, with Fae of Wishes. So our deck definitely needs a lot of mana. There's 26 lands in here. The thing I'm worried about with this deck, kind of looking at it, is I'm worried that we don't really have like two mana accelerants. I could see like playing like I'm not, and I'm and I'm honestly not exactly sold on the Teferis. Basically, that you know, with it being best of one, I'm worried about us being a little slow. Our our goal is you know playing one of these one drops on turn one, and then playing a Teferi or Oko on turn two. Like that's our goal for our turn one, turn two. But I could see us not having a good enough anti-aggro plan. Fae of Wishes is a one-four that gets to block, so that's also nice. But I could I could see the I could see if, that maybe we need like Paradise Druids um, in here also just to kind of give us some more mana. Um, you know, maybe instead of Teferis, we're supposed to be playing uh, like Paradise Druids and stuff like that. But let's give this a try. Um, and so yeah, that's what Luca just asked here. Do you think Teferi would be the best card for this deck? And, and honestly, I'm not not so sure. But we're gonna play this, some games and see. But I, I could see it being kind of slow in best of one. However, there are a lot of blue counter spell decks in best of one also. And Teferi just really helps your spells get resolve. So we'll we'll kind of see. Alright, so we're gonna play over and ranked, as we're doing with all these decks. We're probably going to play seven matches, but honestly, this deck, maybe I won't... Maybe we'll play a little bit less, um, depending on how long they take. Uh, this is the kind of deck that could play really long games. So we'll see. Project Vanner with the Tier 3 sub. Bring in the hype. Thank you so much there, Project Vanner. I really appreciate that. All right, so I, I'm gonna just lead with the Arboreal Grazer because it's not gonna do anything like later on. We'll just get it out here to start with. All right, 14th sub of the day. So yeah, Project Vanna, of course, as you know, with, with being a tier three sub, that means you get a free donation deck for the month. So if you ever have a donation deck you want me to play, you just let me know. Yeah, it's certainly not going to be 30 minutes like Boros Knights was. Like it, This could be just 30 minute games, honestly. Hey, Tekro. All right, turn three Nissa on the play. Looks like we don't really need this planes. I'm always I keep on looking over here because Hawkeye's sitting in front of the screen. Making it difficult for me to see. And by difficult I mean impossible. Okay. You're gonna have to just move. I'm sorry, Hawkeye. It's like his favorite spot to sit is right there in front of that screen. 
where it's like everything like from like here down I can't see. All right, is there any way to play Agent of Treachery here this turn? So two, four, yeah, I just have to Hallowed Fountain, untap, recast it. All right, so I'm going to just gonna go to attackers first. Just attack with this thing. The land fights for us. It still just leaves me with just a, a white mana left. Uh, I tried. All right, cool. So I wasn't going to, because there could be a Wrath this next turn, I wasn't going to take up Nyssa again on a land. I was going to take up Nyssa, but not, you know, it's target up to one. I was going to target zero. All right, well, that was a really quick game. We were just on the play and had turn three Nyssa. And then turn four, Agent of Treachery to steal a land. Oh, it was it was lethal. Oh, yeah, I guess it was with Oko making a 3-3 three, three, and Nissa making a 3-3 three, because three, they were at 12. Yeah. Or like, yeah, it would have been lethal. Yeah. Well, my bad. Um, but yes, I did play the Artisan event. I played Mono Blue Tempo. I would have just, yeah, I would have used Oko. I would have turned the Arboreal Grazer into a 3-3 three, three also. Looks very slow. Got the once upon a time to maybe find a one drop and speed this up. You played Demir in the Artisan event? Very, very nice. Yeah, Rakdos, yeah, Rakdos did really well, and it, it felt really good, too. <laughs> yeah, once upon a time. does can mess up your mulligan decisions, because maybe it's just absolutely nothing, and then my hand looks terrible. Or maybe it's a Boreal Grazer, and my hand looks a lot better. Okay, you win 6-0 with an Improbable Alliance. Nice. Well, this is the exact same start we had last time. Turn 1, Grazer. Turn 2, Goose. Now we have turn 3, Nyssa. Turn 3, Nyssa. No. I don't know what I'm really doing with this thing. I could go grab Nyssa. That's probably what I'm supposed to do is grab Nyssa. I could grab Ugin to replay Ugin. Yeah, I was probably supposed to grab Nyssa. With having Krasis in hand. Yeah.
Good game. As in... I didn't even replace these forests. So I'm doing this just to play the Fae of Wishes out. So I ticked up on the breeding pool. Alright, so I'll have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I'll have Krasis for 10 next turn. And that's not even using Gilded Goose. I could have Crisis for 11, but we just don't really need Crisis for 11. <sighs> so we'll draw five. And they have four. They can have their own Crisis for four here. There's a Nissa affair card next person. She shakes the world, bruh. <laughs> that is. That is quite a title. Not easy to shake the world. Alright, looks like. Harness the elements. Four, six, eight, ten. So it looks like that keeps two cards. Or, well, one card. We're only doing Crisis for eight now. I don't think it's worth it to use a food to play a goose. Alright, well, I was definitely expecting much longer games, but to be fair, we've had just really awesome hands. So, yeah, GG's. I hope we keep on having these awesome hands. Keep steamrolling like this. I'll take it. Yeah. I guess Nissa makes fast games. <laughs> goose Goose. Oh. I thought I had three land. Like this extra time wipe, I, I honestly thought was a land. I thought it was three land, time wipe, goose, crazy Krasis, Nissa. Ugh. That was not a good draw. This was, uh, this is a very bad hand now. I kept that too fast. I don't know why I, I, I thought that was a land. Well, darn. But that was a good draw. Let's keep drawing land. Okay, great. We're playing a matchup where these time wipes are just dead. Fantastic. There's not an Ashiok in the sideboard, is there? No, no Ashiok.
I don't see a real obvious card to grab. It's nothing that like sticks out. May take this finale just to, like if we don't draw a land, we draw two. And we'll go Tamio. I guess Tamio is great against Doom Foretold, so I guess we should probably go Tamio. <laughs> yeah, found a use for time wipe. I am not going to sit this one out. I've got time. Well, if you put a forest in the sideboard when you really need to land, yeah, that's definitely an option. I I think I would I would go Fabled Passage, but yeah, there could definitely be a Fabled Passage in the sideboard for whenever we need a land drop. I don't I don't dislike that at at all. Or I don't yeah. I like that option. Behold nature's true power. Yeah, we could have grabbed a time wipe with Fave Witches. You're going crazy on your opponent and limited with Sorceress's Broom, uh, Cauldron Familiar, and Witch's Oven. What does the Broom do? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Can tick up, make it 12. Certainly feels like my opponent just wants to Kaya's Wrath. Like, is it better just to play Tamio here? Probably not. More like it. So now if they want a Kai's Wrath, they got to do it now, which is good for my Nissa killing their Teferi. Make them play fair. Planar Cleansing? Jeez. I know my responsibility. All right, so Nissa or Tamio. Tamio's better if they play another Doom Foretold. Nissa's better in other scenarios. Not really. I am 
cameo. It is an honor to meet you. Um, Graces. The storied past holds our future. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I didn't have the mana to do both Nissa and Graces. Or wait, did I? I guess I did. If I would have ticked up on a land and then tapped it. Yeah, I guess I did. I guess I could have done both. With the extra mana for Nissa untapping a land. Well, playing around another planar cleansing. And I kind of thought that. So there we go. So I was thinking like dance was an option. And I I wanted to be able to time wipe before Nissa. Okay. What am I taking up on you for? To the library. Let's try this. I will protect I guess the I'm not going to. World. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I really hope there's not more planar cleansings over there. I hope that was like a one of. Don't really have blue mana. Two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just gonna crease this for four, I guess. No, my agent of treachery. Yeah, sorcery mode enabled. We're all sorceries over here. So I have five mana. Here we go. Does seem like we don't have enough blue mana in general in our deck. I have five mana. I can go grab this Nissa. So that's what I'm probably supposed to grab. 
it does seem like a pretty great finale, uh, like the blue finale matchup to reshuffle everything back and every and stuff. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Harness the elements. I won't let you win. Opponents Don't likely worry. just bouncing their murderous rider to re to kill this Nissa again, though. <laughs> you should just win by how many board wipes you play. <laughs> They've played more board wipes than me. I played the one time wipe. They played two Kaya's Wraths and a Planar Cleansing. What? No, I am not making this up as I go. Why not just bounce your Murderous Rider and kill my Nyssa? Hey, Bouncing Murderous Rider would have been a much better plan. Blue mana. See ya, Oko. Okay. Come on. Come on. No, don't... Don't tap both of my blue mana. Come on, deck. There you go. I guess this is going to be a lot more mana intensive than I was envisioning. I guess I should just wait till next turn for this. Yeah, I really should just wait. The land fights for us. Trust me, I have a plan. All right, so I still have even if Hallowed Fountain dies, I still have the, the two blue for finale, and then everything else is forest mana. Got punished. Got really punished. Should have just left Fae of Wishes out here just to be a blocker and then pick it up at end step. Punished. Punished. Might be a bad idea. Hmm. Not worst ideas. Where are you going? All right, that was a longer game there. Let's do a reset. I know it's just been 30 minutes. But we're still gonna just go ahead and do a reset. Hey, Papa Tim, yeah, the deck's doing great so far. We've had Really strong hands with like our, our one mana accelerants all the time, basically. 
Estian, hey, thank you so much for watching some ads there on Twitch to get some bits and using the Terminator cheer for the bonus. Awesome. Thank you so much there, Estian. What would I change in the mana base here? I uh, Two basic planes is not necessary at all. I would cut a basic planes immediately. Um, and then probably turn that into a Temple of Mystery. We need another blue source. I think one basic planes is fine, but I think two is just unnecessary. So yeah, I guess it would probably be another Temple of Mystery. Temples work r very well with a Boreal Grazer. Yeah, and our, our deck just needs more blue mana than what it has. Like, our cyborg cards require a lot of blue. We, we have mass manipulation in the deck. There's not enough blue sources in this deck. So I would like to just draw a land, of course. And if we draw a land, I'm going to be playing the uh, Krasis. I'm just playing this Krasis as a 2-2 two -two if we draw a land. Well, now if we draw a white mana source... <clears throat> we could have Time Wipe next turn. Hey, what's up, Grixis Leader? Looks like I'm playing against uh, the Boros that we played a little while ago. This is going to be... It's going to be tough for us. This is going to hurt. All right, so plan is draw White Source here. That's my plan to stay alive. Draw White Source. No. That is like, that is um, pretty ironic for I was saying that we need to cut a white source for a blue-green temple, and then that game I need white mana, and we draw a blue-green temple. <laughs> That's just really ironic. But yeah, there's, there's enough white in this deck. So yeah, I, I would definitely recommend cutting a planes for the third Temple of Mystery. <clears throat> so even though that that just happened, yeah, I'm not I'm not sold on Teferi either. Um, basically, Teferi is not going to help us against like those hyper aggro decks, and like I think those are going to be kind of our tougher matchups anyway. <clears throat> But against like the other slow blue decks, Teferi has done well for us. We played against this opponent just a little bit ago. I think this was the Simic deck that we played against two matches ago. I'm also not sure we have enough lands, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure 26 is enough. Like with these Arboreal grazers and with how how mana intensive our deck is. I'm really not sold that 26 is enough. I can see getting rid of. Um, getting rid of a Teferi for an extra land, 
Um, the the original list that was that was submitted, you know, said like this is a viewer submitted list had four crisis and two once upon a time, and I, I definitely thought that two once upon a time was not enough because I, I think we need more more lands in general in general with this deck. All right, so we're gonna play you. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. I think a little so plan it on the time wipe for the next turn. I would like my opponent to play Nissa. Eh, is that really anything you ever say? I don't know if that's accurate. If Nissa only had three loyalty, I would. But now there's six loyalty over there. Wicked Wolf would be bad. So, of course, it's Wicked Wolf. Alter, that's your fault for saying it's going to be Wicked Wolf. Hey, what's up, Frank? Let's broaden your existence. Damn. So you've been testing Simic Adventures with a bunch of blue adventure creatures for Fey of Wishes to grab Nissa, Tamiyo, that kind of stuff. Also able to self-mill with Jace. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty sweet. I love, um, especially if you have Lucky Clover. Like, Lucky Clover Fey of Wishes is amazing, and Lucky Clover Beanstalk Giant is a great ramp spell. And, you know, these kind of decks, you want a lot of mana. So, yeah, I like that. Well, that was definitely the reason to make a 3-3 three, three on my side. Instead of turning the Wicked Wolf to an Elf. Because I could just I could just turn the Wicked Wolf to an Elf next turn. Well, no, because they would just make it indestructible in response. So I guess I couldn't. Um... So hostile to the truth. I'll just have to have goose. Share my vision. <laughs> uh, of course, it is a uh, land on top. But this just brings them back down to three mana. We got plenty of mana back again. Let's see. 
I like drawing cards. I think I should grab plane wide. I don't really have things to get back. I have just like just Oko. This can just be a draw five. It's like if they they play Nissa, I steal it. If not, we just draw five. Quest Beast does a pretty good job against Nyssa anyway, so I need to prolong the game, of course. It's the most important thing. Through this land, we are all connected. Behold, nature's true power. That's good. That's really good. Okay. Well, all right. So what my plan was here, um, I was going to be just attacking them with the questing beast, you know, doing four damage to their Nissa because they're not going to block because they're going to wait till next turn when they have two three threes. Then I was going to play Nissa, untap a hallowed fountain, then play Teferi. Like I wasn't going to be attacking with my land. I want my lands. Um, but then un untap play Teferi. I was going to have Teferi bounce my agent of treachery. That's what my plan was there. All right, we're four and one. Let's keep it going. Four and one. I'll take that. Not sold there's enough lands in this deck, honestly. I'm not sure 26 is enough. If we were playing against aggro, I'd, I would just be throwing out this Fae of Wishes, but it doesn't look like I need to throw out the Fae of Wishes as a 1-4. Maybe I should just anyway, because, again, I'm, I feel really good about a late game kind of thing. Yeah, wish I would have just played the Fae of Wishes as a 1-4 before. Because then I could have played Oko, because Oko could block the Paradise Druid, uh, or like the Fae could block the Paradise Druid, and then like, you know, this doesn't kill it. But right now it's six damage on the table, so now I can't play the Oko, so I gotta wait a turn. I 
No, there's not a there's not a ton of ramp in this deck. There's only like the seven the seven one drops that ramp. That's the thing about playing all these main deck time wipes is we're not really playing like this deck doesn't have like the two mana accelerants like your Paradise Druids and stuff because we're playing all these time wipes. to the feast yeah there's there's three once upon a times in here really guess that's I mean it's not really like ramp because it doesn't speed you up it just helps fix your mana it helps you hit land drops which a lot of times hitting your land drop is the best form of ramp there is it's a very a very yeah, underrated aspect of ramp is hitting land drops Cool, heavy inspired by yeah, the Simic wishes. Yep. They had the the start of Eldraine. The I kinda I kinda feel like I like the Simic version more lie. though. I basically don't really like the white cards too much. However, this could be a very good car time for time wipe. I invite you to change your ways. Ooh, I feel so alive. Yeah, they ticked up on the temple that has summoning sickness. Let's broaden your existence. I don't know if it's worth it to attack. I don't think it is. I think I want the blocker. Yeah, Grow Spiral could be a good good card to have for this deck. Especially if you want like time wipes and stuff too. Yeah, Grow Spiral could work. But with Grow Spiral, again, you need more lands because you gotta hit you gotta hit extra land drops, so. Or any more lands. The other the other version was Simic, like we had Risen Reef that Risen, you know, Risen Reef instead of Teferi, where Risen Reef does a good job hitting land drops too. I think a little merriment is in order. Mm. Yay! Good, they're not killing the goose. All right, so can we draw land? And Agent Treachery, this Nissa, that's at eight. This is big. This is it. This is like, like the game. Can we draw land? Fair. Yeah. That was pretty big. I'm just going to just straight up minus eight. <clears throat> just get eight lands out of my deck. The 
land bestows opportunity. Nine lands. We have three forests. So we had 47 cards. Now we have 38. That's a pretty good ramp right there. I uh, play Magic every single day. Yeah, Nook, yep, 3 to 10 Eastern. I'm here streaming each and every day. Okay. Um, no blocks. Ow, ow. Hey, <laughs> play Cavalcade, never draw a Cavalcade. It's not poison. Yep, that is Stop. typical. Well, how about that? We didn't draw hardly any lands, but I guess that's because all of our lands are on the battlefield. I feel like I may have a lot of mana next turn. Yeah, I think we could have a lot of mana next turn. So can I like Nissa and Oko and Time Wipe and Agent of Treachery? I don't know if I'll have that much mana. So let's see, I'll have like one, two, one, two, three. Okay, so then I'd have two. Let's see, that's 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Be minus one, 22. So I'd have 22 mana. So 5, 10, 13, 20. So yeah, I could I could have Nissa and Oko and Time Wiped picked up my Agent of Treachery and Agent of Treachery, which I guess I don't need to Oko because I can just steal their Oko for all of that. All right, one more match. We're five and one. Let's get the seventh one in here. Um, how beginner friendly is the game? Um, it's, um, it's not very beginner friendly. And the question, is it as pay to win as Hearthstone? Um, I'm not sure about the answer to that because I just don't know with Hearthstone, but Magic is a very expensive game. Arena is like the cheapest way to play it and you can play it for free and everything, but, um, yeah, it's. It's just always been, it's always been a very expensive game. Um, hey, thanks, Minasaur. Yeah, it's, like, I don't feel like pay to win really describes the deck too well, or just the game too well. 
you say you're free to play you have a tier one deck after three months it's your only good deck okay yeah so you you can get like getting to one deck isn't the most difficult getting to multiple decks this isn't a fight you can win. here we go is more difficult I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. I invite you to change your ways. I won't let you win. Yeah, you're not going to have a good time in standard unless you put money into arena. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, if you're new to Magic, just no, in general, you know, ask about the game like that, I'd recommend check, checking out that whole full course right there. Um, that's just a, that's like a, a great resource, the level one resource um, of just talking about like the game and everything, and just tons of articles. It's written by one of the best players of all time. It's just a, just a great resource. That's why I'd recommend to kind of browsing through that, see if that looks like a, an interesting game to you. I really would prefer to play Krasis whenever I get to draw multiple cards. Um, so do I want to just play a Breeding Pool here, or do I want a Fabled Passage and Shuffle? I feel like I probably want to draw Teferi. Like, that's a good draw step, so I guess we're going to go Fabled Passage to Shuffle. Surely you must be famished. Really should have seen that coming. My opponent didn't need to cast that draw from dreams at that point either. Like, is Fires of Invention even a good card for me to have? Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, if we if we draw a land, I am going to Agent of Treachery the Fires of Invention. Cuz you can still just cast your cast your spells normally, so I can still cast a large Hydro Crisis. But we only get two spells a turn. But it works very well with Fae of Wishes, as y'all know. Thank me later. Well, now they don't get to draw a card. So, thank you. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Only time will tell. I don't want them to be able to just kill my agent of treachery with a sweeper. It's too valuable. Even though the fires isn't great for me, it just it's really it's really bad for my opponent for that thing to be gone. But I don't want them to just play like a, a deafening clarion and kill those two creatures or something like that. Yeah, poor Grazer. Grazer did so much too. But I just don't want to risk 
the agent, <clears throat> the agent of treachery dying. And plus, I got a free spell that turn. And like the my spells are going to be limited in the future <clears throat> with just two spells each turn. I have practiced to get meditate and prepare. Let's broaden your existence. My mind needs a rest. There we go. Good job, once upon a time. Minded. So what are we going to Fae of Wishes here? Six. I'm at um, 8 total mana, so that if, if we go get an X spell, I'm going to look at X equals 6. Yeah, Once Upon a Time is pretty... Insane rate. I mean, I could fay for Nissa. So we're going to steal that also. GG's. All right, so band cards are good. Man, Platinum Tier 1 with one win away from... from getting to Diamond. We'll get there. All right, so that's Bant Wishes. Um, worked well. Like, I, again, I kind of wish we had a 27th land in here. Probably instead of the 4th Teferi. I think we could use a 27th land. Um, it was definitely nice whenever we hit our land drops. We only played against one aggro deck, like one hyper aggro deck, and we lost that. That was our one loss. The other six matches that we play were against slower decks. Um, but it worked, it, it played pretty well, honestly. Um, I could see, I could see something else in the sideboard, like Ashiok maybe. Um, maybe Ashiok. I, I remember thinking like there was a time that I wanted to grab Ashiok. Oh yeah. Against, against the, um, Esper dance deck. I'm not sure about this flood of tears. Like I don't know I don't know when I'm ever really gonna grab this flood of tears, to be honest. Whenever we have like time wipe and planar cleansing. Like I like I'm not sure if we need time wipe, planar cleansing, and flood of tears. Like when when am I grabbing flood of tears and I'm not grabbing like time wipe or planar cleansing? 
it's probably not happening and we have all this other stuff so I, I don't think I'd ever grab Flood of Tears. So maybe Ashiok against the Esper Dance deck. Which is a deck you play against some. Like, we played against it a couple of times. I like that. Anyway, there we go. Ban Wishes. Uh, definitely a whole lot of power here. Uh, that's for sure. Um, you know, like, these cards are very good. All right, Hawkeye, it's, it's dinner time. Hawkeye's all excited. He's gonna go get. I'm gonna go feed him now. Um, no, there's enough. I think there's enough white mana. Honestly, um, I think ten white sources is perfectly fine. Because I mean, these fable passages can be white, so it's basically thirteen. Um, and then you also have once upon a times that if you need white, you can go grab, and then Gilded Goose can fix as well. I I honestly think it's enough white. Um, but what land? Um, yeah, so if we cut Teferi, if we cut one Teferi for another land, like the Teferis were good. I would have to say I was I was pleasantly surprised by them. Maybe you can get the second planes back in, because I don't know if I want a fourth temple. So maybe we could get that second that second planes back in that we cut earlier. Basic lands are good, or maybe it's just another forest. Maybe it's just another forest. Because we do want turn one Greenland. So actually, it's, it's probably just another forest. That gives you 12 um, untapped white or untapped Greenlands on turn one. That gives you 12. Yeah, it's probably forest. Cool. Yeah, Flood of Tears when you only have one white. Because your Nissa lands got killed. I guess that's something to try to prepare for, but I don't know. We still have, you know, like there's, there's still like these other top end cards that are, are good, even in that scenario, like plain white celebration and mass manipulation and stuff. I think we would play a lot of games for whenever. Um,. Or that to happen. No, I'd go with another forest. Okay. So there we go. That's Bant Wishes Best of One. Uh, again, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And, of course, leave some comments. Um, but that's it here for Best of One Day Monday. Um, hope you all like the Best of One stuff. We'll be back tomorrow with Tuesday Bruce Day, where we're going to be building some sweet brews. I'm going to be playing some, some new uh, janky decks uh, built around rares and mythics that don't see any play. So I'm going to build some jank for tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, it'll be a lot of fun, though. Um, and, of course, I always take suggestions for those decks and stuff, too. All right, that's it here for Bant Wishes. I guess another question is, would you switch Grazer for Paradise Druid? I'm not sure. I think with adding this 27th land, Grazer gets better. Yeah, I think I think I would keep Grazer, but I think I want a 27th land to help Grazer be better, basically. But yeah, getting the, the turn to Oko is quite nice, of course. And Grazer just works so perfectly with Oko being able to be turned into a 3-3 also. Anyway, uh, yep, that's here for Bandwishes. So again, for y'all on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.